Welcome, everybody, to the Youth Channel's podcast. I'm your host, Sed Serate, and please help me in welcoming my guests, Claudia Paguay. Hi. Deja Hayes. Hi. And Amy Muhammad. Hi. How y'all doing today? Good. We out here? Mm, I need coffee. Can I get a year? Year. 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 <laughs> <laughs> So on today's episode of our podcast, we're going to keep it real simple and talk about the college life. And we're going to try to dispel a few college myths. Mm -hmm. So our first question to my guest today are, what were some expectations that you had in your first year of college that quickly went away? Mm. Immediately, I thought that I was going to be alone and not have anybody to support me. And uh, that's mostly because I've had I've heard like a bunch of like stuff about Hunter itself of being being like antisocial right. and it's just dreadful and like at CUNY schools in general that like oh everybody always wants to transfer out yeah um, but I actually ended up making like a lot of friends my freshman year so that was like interesting that was different did they just come to you or did you like do things to oh them? actually it was only because I got into this um, like scholarship program mm -hmm. so all they made like all of us that were in that program together like take it take like English and like two other classes together so that's how we all like had to like be stuck with each other oh like freshman seminar yeah kind like kind of like that like yeah. that yeah oh. so that was it how are you um I didn't really have many like expectations because I, I did not know what to expect at all but I do know the reality of it was just like it was like kind of scary because I came from a really bad school and like the worst teachers, the worst everything. So having to adjust to being like in a real school environment was like crazy for me because I'm like, yo, I'm actually like having to do all of this work. Mm -hmm. like, it was like like very overwhelming, but like I didn't really have many expectations. But it was just terrible my first year, just straight mm -hmm. trash, terrible. Jeez. And you, Amy? Um. Let me see. Well, I didn't really have much expectations, kind of like the same as hers. But one thing I did notice is like professors, they're like antisocial. Like they just come to class mm. and then leave. Right. Like they don't really interact with students. So it was different because like in high school, all your teachers like interact with you, but then the professors are like very like, we just want the work. Right. You guys go to BMCC, right? Yeah. Oh. So, oh. Right? Oh. <laughs> I definitely had like weird expectations for my um, first year of college, but I knew it would be different because like everything that we see on TV obviously isn't reality. And I grew up watching shows like Greek and like all these other things where it's like students on a campus with like one group of friends that they see and hang out with all the time and they like never get in trouble for doing bad things or whatever and i go to brute college so like mm -hmm. that's essentially just a building in the middle of flat iron mm -hmm. with like no social landscape at all but whatever yeah our next question is what is your fave struggle meal start that way i need to think about this <laughs> well i don't have like a struggle meal no no do I have to define what a struggle meal yeah, is? Yeah, define what a struggle yeah. meal is. A struggle yeah. meal is like broke goals. It's like you really made something work for the lowest price possible. You know, like I love ramen noodles mm -hmm. with hot sauce. I could eat that three square meals a day. Oh, Add an okay. egg in there. Mm -hmm. That's like less than $2. Okay, now, and you're like filled up. For now a while. I know. Okay, um, one semester I dormed at Hunter only because like I was taking like six classes and I was working two jobs in an internship so I needed to be close to like my school yeah and so That's I had like crazy. no time to cook so literally I'd be like coming home at like eight o'clock and I have to start working on like my homework mm -hmm. and I like I'd immediately just go get my ramen <laughs> I'd go up um, put the water in the hot water in and then I'd cook it up I I preferred having like an actual meal but I didn't want to like make rice mm -hmm. so I would like pour out the water a bit and then open like a can of tuna put it with my ramen noodles and then put hot sauce there and then just eat it like that quickly wait that you eat ramen noodles struggle. without the water um usually with the water but sometimes I like it without the water okay I'm glad you made that distinction no, <laughs> <laughs> no I know I know I know no because the bonkers you know what's funny the 
the craziest thing I think I've ever seen in my life was my one friend. <laughs> we were just walking in the street, going from some place to another, and he stopped in the bodega. He's like, let's get some snacks. So I was like thinking he's gonna get like hot Cheetos or something. Mm -hmm. He gets a packet of ramen, dry, like puts the seasoning on it and just starts breaking up the noodles and oh, eating yeah, it like yeah, that. Yeah, That's a that. struggle meal if I've ever seen. But why seen not one. just buy chips? I, I don't <laughs> I don't know. Like <laughs> I mean, was he Asian? Chip? Yeah. Cuz a lot of Asian people Yeah, he was yeah. Nepali. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. I don't, I didn't have a struggle. I don't know. I've never tried it. Not I mean as, yeah. as far as like just mm -hmm. cup soup, like that's about it. Right. You know, like everybody's go-to. Yeah. The thing yes. is I don't eat I don't eat ramen. I don't like oh. it. I definitely don't. So I I, struggle that. meal, I don't know, like a bagel with Nutella or something. I could eat that for mm -hmm. like breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Okay, I could see that. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Speaking of breakfast, uh, Deja mentioned something very interesting earlier, and that was that cereal is essentially cold soup. What? Like, yeah. <laughs> is like that soup. even real? Or like oatmeal is like soup. But thick. Yeah, mm -hmm. thick soup. <laughs> <laughs> Thick soup is essentially like a ceviche, I guess. Yeah. I mean, like a sancocho, yeah. a clam chowder. Yeah. yeah. A sancocho is a stew, though. So then, how would oh, you really? define soup? Mm -hmm. Just like a bowl of like st liquid stuff and liquid. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that you can eat by itself. <laughs> that makes sense. Right. Yeah. 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 So right. no struggle meal for you. What's like the quickest thing? A bagel. A bagel. Yeah. Oh. A bagel. That's the only thing I Or think eating of. breakfast as a struggle meal. I don't know. Isn't breakfast you know, like. You know, like. Oh, like you know, anytime. Like, it'll be like, like late at night, mm -hmm. and like you don't got nothing but breakfast. Yeah. yeah. You start making pancakes or waffles mm -hmm. or something. Yeah. Like. Frozen eggs. Right. Like. Yeah. So mm -hmm. that could be my struggle meal because that's what I'll do. Max. I'm going to turn five on yours. Sure. Professors, friends, and internships, y'all. In a few words, sum up your experience now that y'all are graduates. Professors, friends, and internships? Yep. Mm. You can talk about anything. Anybody want to go? Oh, OK. Um, well, I haven't, well, I graduated in August. But mm. I don't know about that part. But friendships, like, throughout college was, like, in and out, in and out. Like, I don't know how many friends I've already, like, gone through. Now I just have two. Oh. Yeah. But did you know them before college? Yeah, both of them I knew before college. Yeah. And then one of them, like, we, like, got back to being friends because mm -hmm. we, we weren't friends since, like, my sophomore year in high school. And then we just got back. Mm -hmm. So I'm, like, in and out with them. If there's one thing life has taught me by being in college at a commuter school is that I'm really not pressed about seeing my friends every week, every two weeks mm -hmm. or whatever. Like, as long as we keep up slight communication and I know you don't hate me, I'm good. Yeah. I could see you once a year and I'll be fine. Right. It's all love. Yeah. We be I, busy out here. I think a lot of people has gotten to that point now right. with like social media. Like you don't have to see your friends like all the time now. Oh, that may be a big part of it too. Yeah. Cause it's like you do see what all they're of doing them all the time right. yeah. Yeah. you like their picture then like hey i'm here mm -hmm. yeah so just liking it you like yo we cool like there's no yeah. issue we're right. still friends we'll send memes like, to each other yeah yeah right i mean i guess that works to a certain extent though mm -hmm. yeah because like, you you still have time to like speak to your friends yeah, oh, yeah like yeah. throughout the week mm -hmm. so like i'll take offense to a certain extent like if i don't hear from my friends for more than like if I don't hear from my friends for one whole week, like I'm low key offended. Up, oh. cause you could just drop it like, quick text. Hey, what's like, up? Hey, yeah. No cost and then go about your day. That's true. Like how you go like two, three weeks without speaking to your friends? I don't know. Sometimes mm -hmm. life just hits you. Yeah, yeah. And I'm, it depends. It depends on the I'm friendship. I feel like. Yeah, yeah that that's too. True. I think that's what it is. Like if it's your close friend. I can understand. Yeah, it's my close too. friends. Like. Yeah. But if it's like. But sometimes I didn't forget to eat. It's. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I don't know. If you, like, we super close, like, I need to hear from you. Right. Yeah. But if we just, like, friends, like, just But then are you, are you the one that's constantly, like, hitting No, it's like first? a mutual thing. Oh. Like, we, like, but, like, if something, like, if they don't hit me up for, like, a whole week, but then I know something's wrong. Then I know to, like, 
see if they're okay, if they're like going through something, mm -hmm. and then like help them out. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I don't know, cause like the past last semesters that I was at Hunter, I finally graduated, yay. Mm -hmm. But the last semesters that I was there, it was like getting harder and harder. So I legit was not texting anybody, even my closest friends. Mm -hmm. And so we would just have the group chat. And they would like like be talking in the group chat, and then occasionally I'd be like ha 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 or like whatever. But we wouldn't really talk like that. Yeah. I really wouldn't talk to somebody like every single day. Yeah. 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 That takes a lot of energy. Mm -hmm. So do y'all feel prepared for life after graduating? Yeah. I honestly feel like for those years that I've been in college that I felt like I knew it all and that like I was on top of the world like, mm -hmm. oh yeah, you know, like I'm going to get this degree and I'm going to be that person. But like afterwards, it's just like, oh no, you're just like another person. That's like how I feel. I, oh, okay. Um, I switched like my career path, like legit senior year. So that's why I feel like I, I, I'm like a little uneasy, but not like, oh my God, I don't know what to do. I'm going to be depressed at home crying. Like, no, I'm not like that. I'm like, okay, I'm not sure what exactly I'm going to do. I'm definitely like not ready to move out yet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't move out from my parents' place until I get like a full time job. But I'm in that situation where I'm like, okay, I'm gonna look for like maybe starter up jobs or um, intern more internships mm -hmm. or something. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm in the middle. Like I think I'm like somewhat prepared for some things, but not like huge steps. Like actually adulting, mm -hmm. <laughs> going out into the world by myself. Right. Yeah. To be honest, I'm like terrified. It's something I like. I think of, I've been thinking about ever since I graduated from high school. I'm like, yo, like what the heck am I gonna do? after college like it's like it's like a scary thought because you're like i don't even know like i could change what i want to do next year like mm -hmm. you never know things are constantly changing but i think i'd be overthinking sometimes so you know i, I don't know but like it's like a terrifying thought because it's like afterwards like now you have like people like with really good degrees and like they're really good mm -hmm. at what they do after college but then they can't even find a job because most most jobs are like yo you need eight plus right. years experience and it's just like how am I supposed to get experience if like I just got out of college like exactly. what the heck like that doesn't make sense so like it's like scary to think about like what's gonna happen after college so yeah, yeah. Mm. how are you how you feel I don't know like it's kind of exciting <laughs> yeah. like what's gonna happen <laughs> am I gonna die yeah. <laughs> like, die am I gonna die yes. what's gonna happen today I don't know like because like me I overthink a lot mm -hmm. So like, I try not to do that. So I just kind of like make it funny mm -hmm. to kind of cope with like mm -hmm. stress. Mm -hmm. So just now, like there, she was freaking me out over here. <laughs> am I gonna die? Yeah. Like, so I just kind of do that to like get over whatever I'm scared of. And then it's like, you could like go to school and then get out and then not get the job you want because whatever the requirement is of yeah. the job mm -hmm. title, whatever you're trying to do. But I think it's like based off personality like you can get a job based just of your personality oh yeah 100%. so i kind of like it's kind of like i don't know yeah just kind of see what it does I, don't know. I feel that we're gonna switch things up right now and we're gonna have a fun little segment that's essentially we're gonna try and describe fun new dance crazes just <laughs> with our words okay so i'm gonna just throw it out there and whoever wants to take a shot y'all can Try and describe the shoot. 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 Let me I see. Don't know. Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> shoot. I don't. I don't know how to describe that one. The motion. Oh, the, the motion. motion. The motion. Oh, okay, okay. You charging? You not, char not charging up. <laughs> right. Mm. I mean, uh, with your leg, you can like. It's like. Uh, it's like. It's like balancing simultaneously. Act. That's pumping. a good word. Yeah, pumping. pumping your leg in your in your hand doesn't sound right, but yeah. Right. Yeah. So it's like <laughs> I don't even have the word. <laughs> okay, so you're balancing, right? Like a flamingo, yeah. like a flamingo. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We love flamingos. Balancing like a flamingo. Act like you're hitting a hammer. Act something. like you're hitting a hammer. <laughs> you act like you're cool nailing, here, like, like you're putting a nail in the wall. Yeah. yeah. You gotta bend your back. And the nail is taller than you are yeah. where you're putting it. So you and have to like stretch out. A kick in the foot. Right. Yeah. Shoot. So you're like cranking. Shoot. Yeah. In what's it called? In sync? Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's in sync. Mm. Perfect. 
Right. You can't be kicking your leg and then like, you gotta be at the same time. Yeah. I saw a meme that said, cry kids and, and kids, we dance the same. Like, you know when you <laughs> see like, <laughs> you know when you see like, cry kids outside and they're doing crazy dances. Yeah. Yeah. But then like, you look at little kids and like, people are, we doing like, crazy dances yeah. too. Like, but there's really no dance that's like, it's, <laughs> <laughs> you never let me know. Stop. Like you never know. <laughs> They're never gonna let us do this again. <laughs> shoot, shoot, shoot the wall. It's like driving a car, right? Yeah. Skirt, skirt. <laughs> it's like oh, it's like humming the brakes real quick. Oh, okay. It's like you're throwing a tennis ball in the air, right? <laughs> and driving, and that you're waiting time. it for you're waiting for it to and come you down. Drop it. You always drop it? No, you almost, almost drop, drop it. it. You, you almost drop it. it. You're scared of dropping this tennis ball. Oh. <laughs> and then suddenly like you're in a car, you're not on a tennis court anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you Oh, you wax on, wax off. Mm. I never cleaned a car before, so I don't know. That's the karate kid. Oh. Uh, I never windows. Seen, I never seen that before. <laughs> Remember the generation gap? You turn it. <laughs> you know, yeah. Turn, right. Yeah. What else? I don't know. What else can we do? Is there a generation gap? What between? Are us? you just young enough to not have seen the Karate Kid? The old one? He did that the in there. The oldest one. There's two of them. It's in both, isn't that like yeah. the most iconic oh, thing? I, I from seen, the I seen the one with Jaden Smith. But I just don't remember anything from Whoa, it. Whoa! I never same. saw the one with Jaden Smith. I saw that one. Hmm. Look at that. I saw it because we were the same age, and I thought it was cool that there was mm. a brown dude on screen that was my age oh. as a lead actor. Hey. I think I did see that. Mm -hmm. He was in Japan, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 I did see that one. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> All right, y'all. Is a hot dog a sandwich? No. Yes. Yes, a hot dog is a sandwich. I don't think so. Because if it's like, it has bread, mm -hmm. it's sliced in the middle, and it has stuff in the middle. Mm -hmm. But do you separate it? Do you separate but the bread? But sometimes, you know, like you know, like at Shake Shack, they mm -hmm. just open the burger. Yeah. And it's not separate. Sometimes burger buns are not separate. Are oh, burger what? sandwiches? Like, That's what know, they like, do with heroes. Yeah. You just slice it and then you just put stuff in it. That's a sandwich. A bagel could be a sandwich too. A bagel. Yeah. Because yeah. sometimes people be putting like other stuff. Butter. They could put like. So is a crepe a sandwich? No. No. A you, don't, you don't eat it with your hands. A quesadilla could be a sandwich. I legit want yeah, to that Google could. what is the definition of a sandwich. And whether or not a hot dog is a sandwich. I don't, I don't think hot like, dog. Because people put like relish, mustard. You could put all of that on a sandwich. Yeah. Pickles. It's like the same yeah. thing. Yeah. I don't For me, I it's hate just pickles. like the type I like of bread mm -hmm. that defines Ooh. it. I don't know. You don't like cucumbers? Mm, cucumbers. Are. Do you eat? Would you eat a sandwich with the same bread that, like from the hot dog bun? Yeah. yeah. It's the same thing as a hamburger bun. And a hamburger is a sandwich. I would put eggs on it, maybe. Mm. I don't know if I'd Wait, put like what? deli meat. I'm saying what kind of sandwich I would have on oh. that type of bread. Oh. It'd probably be an egg sandwich. Yeah, they. it's like a burger bun. Mm. But it's I have the burger bun friend. with the like, little sesame seeds. Oh, no, I don't eat sesame seed buns. Yeah, oh. yeah I don't eat like the other, like that bun. And I only see that in like McDonald's or Burger King. Yeah. Which like, is fake. Wow, <laughs> talk about it. Right. I ain't never seen a sesame seed bun outside of like fast food restaurants. Yeah. Maybe like you would have to ask for it if you're at the deli. I feel like it's probably cheaper to get it without sesame seeds. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's probably why you don't see that. That like sounds niche. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Like a special kind of person. Look at that. <laughs> right. Real niche. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Uh, let us know in the comment section whether or not you think a hot dog is a sandwich. It's like the most hotly debated topic of 2019, it seems, right? Like, yeah. So thank you for watching. This has been your YC Podcast, and I'm your host, Setsarate. Peace and love. Enjoy. Shalom.